What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here. And if you don't know what the Bragging Brawl is, it is a monthly two week tournament um, where a bunch of guilds and scrolls get together and battle it out for bragging rights. And um, basically, so you can answer with your guild, you have to choose five of your guild members, and you uh, slug it out with um, the other guilds and scrolls. This month, the first one, 2015, uh, six guilds were in it. Will and Sail, Strategic Angels, Brunch Spirit, the Fairy Princess Guild Association, the Badger Guild, and... No, wait. And, yeah. Wait, what? Am I seeing this correctly? Oh, no. French Spirit. Rats and Bunnies, French Spirit, Fairy Princess Guild Association, uh, Will and Sail, Strategic Angels, and the Badger Guild. So, the first week is... Just qualifying to see um, who enters the finals, and uh, the Badger Guild, the Guild Diamond, got a buy in the first round of this week's uh, bracket because we've done very well in the past. So this is how it all turned out. Um, we're gonna the Badger Guild is going to be facing French Spirit in the finals um, this coming Saturday. So you guys can check that out on Twitch. All this is streamed. And I just felt like recording my uh, couple of matches against the Zark of the Strategic Angels. Uh, because I think I did some good commentary on them. So you could uh, see some high level tournament style matches. So here they are. Here we go. Good luck. Have fun. And is it bugging out? Alright, there we go. I'm going second, unfortunately, but I do have a nice curve of Brave into Mystic into Fang there. Um, hopefully he doesn't have... I'm not sure what he's playing yet. Uh, we're almost definitely going to keep this hand unless he plays a turn one better. And we, will, we, will con we will consider Mulliganing for a Ragged Wolf. Um, he goes for growth and he does not have a turn one better. So that's pretty good for me. I'm gonna get rid of the Crimson Bull. And next turn, Oliver. Hopefully, he doesn't have a Brave this turn. Uh, we'll see what he plays. And he just plays Eventual Fetters. That's pretty good for me. I'm gonna play my Brave right in its path, right in the middle of the board. And hopefully, he doesn't have protection for it. I'll get rid of my Nog at this point because Nog will make me stray from my curve. And, uh,. Yeah. Have a rumble if need be, so it is I mean he went first and now he's gonna be able to play a three drop for protection if he wants. So it's not like perfect for me, but it is looking pretty good. Okay, so he's gonna protect it. But getting damage on this Earthworm Mystic is awesome anyways. I'm gonna get rid of the rumble at this point. I'd like my versatile units to play. And rumbles often backfire. They're really not wise to play unless you absolutely have to. So now just just the Staghart on his Vetter will be able to kill my uh, kill my Mystic. Worst case scenario, he plays like a Staghart on the Vetter and then puts like a Nog in front. But he sacrifices for scrolls, so that's good for me. He's not going to be able to ramp up to powerful creatures as soon as I. And he plays Nog and I said it looks like he's running away. So... If he's gonna run away, I'm just gonna run away. I don't think we have to fight each other right now. I mean, I guess I could because this guy's attacking. I could chase him because both of these guys are attacking next turn. Yeah, I kinda wanna take down this Nog Nest. I don't wanna see it spawn Nogs. So yeah, I am gonna chase him. I'm gonna play a Shrugged Fang Bear in the front to protect my Mystic and my Brave. All right, and uh, let's see what he has. Like, I'm in a pretty good position right now. There's not much he can do. He could veteran to take down... He, I don't even know if there's any possible way for him to take down the Mystic and the Brave. Besides, like, Rumbles and stuff. So we are definitely in a good position. Alright. And, uh... Next turn, I'll either play Ancestral Totem or Great Wolf. Alright, he does play the Veteran. So, I mean, that's okay. I'm still going to get my creatures to attack. 
Um, I will. I could act. Oh, yeah, top deck a veteran. Um, I could either clear this whole row. I could take out the Nognes and the Ventral Vetter. I could play Ancestral Totem and take out these two guys. I think it's either going to be. I can get rid of the Ancestral Totem. It's going to either going to be Veteran or Great Wolf this turn. And, uh. Veteran means I clear the row. I want to get rid of this Ventral Vetter, though. So. But I don't want to leave my own thing open to a Veteran. I think I'm actually going to. I'm actually going to play the Great Wolf. Neither of these guys are attacking this turn. I feel kind of safe, and uh, this way I don't have anything vulnerable to another Kinfold Veteran from him. I don't have anything with less than 3 health in the front. And uh, I have a Veteran for this turn. He plays a Rat King, so Veteran's not the... Well, actually, a Veteran behind the Brave will likely be able to take out his Veteran, so that's good for me. Or I could take out his veteran if I want, but I think I'd rather just take out his veteran. I'll sacrifice another brave, and a rumble could come in handy later. A stack art's really nice. How do I want to do this? I think I want to protect the great wolf. But I want to protect the brave, though. I don't know. Um, hmm. I wish I didn't have to have the veteran in the back. He's really the least valuable creature. I will. I'll keep the brave. Hmm. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna go like this. That's how I'm gonna do it. So he might he could very well destroy either my Mystic or my Great Wolf this turn. I'd rather him destroy my Mystic because like getting enchantments like Staghart on that uh, Great Wolf are gonna be awesome. What's he doing? He moves down. Let's see if he has an enchantment to get. Or he has an Earth and Mirth to get rid of my Great Wolf. So. That's a little annoying, but I'm gonna be able to take that, take out that, take out that Earthworm Mystic right away. I could, I could rumble, but I don't think that really solves much. He's all the way up to seven energy, and seeing as he had Nognes and and uh, Rat King, Adventure Letter, he pr might have Quakes. So I don't really feel like filling up the board with this Vetter. Instead, I'm just going to. Sacrifice after scrolls. Double stack card is really nice. I'm actually going to do that this turn. I'm going to take down his mystic. And then I think I'm just going to double stack card here. And I'm going to leave this brave open. Okay, so if he wants to move up and try to kill my kill my mystic with his two guys he'll see this brave staring him down and my brave is pretty safe so quakes now won't hurt that much I, I would have rather to get double stack heart on our vauntless unit like a great wolf but on brave is not too shabby that great wolf is a little bit annoying though I'm gonna get rid of the vetter uh, I guess this turn I just wetland ranger I could rumble and hope to kill like the great wolf or the brave but I don't think that is necessary right now. I'm going to hide from a Kinfolk Veteran, so I'll have my Brave in front. Not something I really want to do, but whatever. Because I want to make sure that this Brave, double stag hearted Brave survives. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to draw an enchantment with this Earth on my second and I get a third stag card. That would be awesome. And be able to get like a stag card on this Ranger or something. And I just took a Nidal with my huge brave all right and there's a fang bear and he moved up so i'm gonna be able to hopefully kill his great wolf let's see if we can uh let's get rid of a mangy wolf hmm didn't get exactly what I needed. I'm gonna rumble and hope for the best. That was pretty good because I'm gonna be able to take out his Great Wolf. So I'll do that and I'll play. And now I'm gonna put the, now I'm actually gonna put the Nog in front. Cause uh, I'd rather lose a Nog than get this Brave damaged. And I'm getting the Pillage effect. 
Ellie moved his his bear out of the way. All right. And next turn, I mean, he plays a Yarl, so his deck is definitely more oriented to to the late game. That's why he has more resources than me, stuff like that. But my Brave is just plowing through. I still would like a Relentless unit. He moves up with that bear. Do I move down to kill it? I don't know. Because he could just God Hand and it would really suck. I think I have to. No, I could just move down with the Veteran to kill. What am I talking about? I'm kind of stupid. Uh, let's get rid of the Mage Wolf. I know I could play two creatures this turn if I sacrifice resources, but who wants to play Mage Wolves? You know, Great Wolf out. There's a Great Wolf. Um, I could play that. I could play the Veteran to take out this Veteran, which means he can't God Hand this coming turn, but who cares if he God Hands, really? It's not a big deal. So let's go like this. Great Wolf in front. I'm ready to Mangy plus Mystic next turn, and I continue getting the Pillage effect on the top idol. And if he does God Hand... He doesn't accomplish much. Maybe he can get rid of my Great Wolf and my Veteran, but I still have all these other guys attacking. So I'm really, I'm denying him any floating on the board right now. And pretty soon I'm probably going to be able to win the game. So, uh, hopefully, I mean, I don't, I only have, all right, he plays a Veteran to get rid of my Veteran, so that's fine. Um, and he keeps his Jarl down there. Okay. Now, I'm actually really close to lethal. Yeah, I am actually really close to lethal. Um, I, I think I'm going to draw an enchantment, even though I can kill this veteran, because there's a 50% chance to draw a stag heart, and that would be just epic. And I don't really want to move anything down because of this Jarl. I mean, I could move the mist, the mystic down, but I'd rather just keep my creatures on the board. So let's see if I get a stack art. It's basically a game if I get a stack art. No stack art. Um, that's all right. I'm just gonna start playing stuff. I'm going to get rid of one of the one of the mirths and uh, play Mangy Wolf and a mystic. All right, and now he doesn't have the resources to God Hand or anything because I got rid of that better. And an Earthen Mirth or a Veteran combination will likely, well, I don't know, it depends on if he protects this idol up here or if I draw something like a Rally. All right, there's a Veteran on my Mangy Wolf. And is he just leaving his Yarl open? Not quite, but I have a veteran to take out uh, the veteran front, so I'm going to be able to take out his Jarl if I want. But instead, I think I'd rather just win the game. So, uh, veteran up here, and that is GGWP. So that is round one to me. It's the best of three, remember? So I think I'm just going to continue playing this growth deck. Uh, so, yeah. Round two versus Zark. I did not make any adjustments to my deck. And unfortunately, he goes first again. Um, I would have really liked to go first this time, especially now that I don't. Doesn't look like I have a perfect hand. So this one isn't looking as good in the beginning. But who knows? Maybe our mulligan might be amazing. It'll be interesting to see if he's playing the same deck or if he changed his deck. He he changed his deck, so he's playing energy. Uh, maybe automaton energy. I don't know. Um, I did I did top deck the two drop. Which is kind of good. Especially that it's a Nog. Against Energy, almost Nogs are better than Brave so they don't get sparked. And against Energy, it's good to have all these big drops because they have more health than burn range. But Fangbear is not as good because he might be playing Automatons and he'll be kind of bad against them. I'm going to, well again, let's try to get uh, like a, a Terrain Brute or a Mystic for turn 3. Yeah, this is much better. Although the Braves might get sparked, I still like this a lot more. I'm going to get rid of the early Rally. Rally just isn't really useful for Braves or Terrain Brutes. There's a gun on him, 
and that scares me a bit. I'm going to get rid of this mangy wolf, and I'm going to play the... I think I'm going to play the brave. Nope, he's just going to move towards me, but he might just play a creature right here. I'll play the brave. And we'll see what happens. We'll see if he tries to engage it or what. And he plays a Boom Reaver, and he doesn't try to engage me. Boom Reaver, that's not played every day. Or is he, he, maybe he's going to move down? He doesn't move down. Okay, so I'm going to be able to... Nice. Great Wolf's nice. I'm going to keep my Crimson Ball at the moment. At moment's onus, I might need this Brave to become a forward attack. And a little rumble is really nice. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to play the Terrain Brute. Right here. So now we very well could see a burn on my kinfolk brave which would suck and it would give him an opportunity to move down with his boom reaver and get some damage on my tearing brew and he does go with the burn is he going to move down too he does okay and now this turn we'll see if i top deck a four drop i don't but i have this stuff i'm actually going to sacrifice the scrolls here because if i play the vetter and the brave i'm going to be able to to play the Great Wolf next turn, even though I'm only at three resources this turn. So I'm going to do that. Um, and I'm just going to get them... I'm going to get the party going up here. And if he wants to attack my Terran Brute, he's going to have to move all the way to the bottom of the board. It would have been actually nice to like top deck like uh, some more one-drops, like more Vetters or Raggles to get this guy to attack. But whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna actually move up. Because who knows? He might not have like an extra damage to be able to kill this uh brute. And if I can get it an attack off, that'd be amazing. Because it, like it's the boom reaver attacking, not the automaton, so you can't just play like a scout auto or a machine priest to get the attack up. So we'll see. Um I am vulnerable to like sudden eruptions later. Hopefully I start getting bigger creatures out. Smuggler and what? And he does not he's not able to kill it. Wow. That is great for me. Um, yeah, that is amazing for me. I'm going to be able to kill that, and I'm also going to play Great Wolf this turn. I'm going to be able to rally it next turn. I'm going to get rid of the Rumble. Um, I'm going to, should, I, should I engage him? I mean, I'm, still, I'm a little afraid of Bombards and stuff. Got to have a rally next turn. Nah, I'm not going to engage. Yeah, I don't think I need to. Okay, we're just gonna try to kind of space out from a Thunder Surge. It's hard to quite do it perfectly. It was interesting that he put his uh, gun automaton in front. I understand he probably uh, values it less than the Hyde Smuggler and the Boom Reaver, but it was attacking the following turn. Okay, there's an Ironclad Reaver. So that's that guy's pretty strong. I might need to go with like a Ragged Wolf Earthen Mirth to take that out. I'm actually going to keep both Earthen Mirths here. Um, Earthen Mirth is great against energy. Uh, and I got another Rally of Snacks. Unfortunately, I did not get a 4 drop or a 5 drop, but Earth or Mystic is fine. Um, I will. I will play it. I'm going to keep you here. I want to keep both of these guys on this row, but I don't want to. I don't want to line up for a big thunder. So it's just a thing. I think I have to play the Earth or Mystic here, though. So it's a little clumped up there, because I want to keep both creatures that are attacking next turn on this row that has one space in between his guys. So if he decides to move up, I have things waiting for him. Hopefully, he doesn't have like a Val dispersal for my Great Wolf. If he decides to move up and he doesn't have a Val dispersal. Um, then I have an Earthen Mirth waiting for him. And he sacrificed for scrolls there, so unless he powers up or something, I don't think our Great Wolf is going to die this turn. Iron up on my Vetter. Alright, it's one for one trade, and he actually paid more resources to do it. So I don't mind that. And he's going to kill my Terrain Brute finally and draw a scroll from his Hired Spawn. That, that turn went pretty well for me. Um, now I'm going to sacrifice one of the Earthen Mirths, uh, considering I'm going to have maybe two mystics on the board so they'll draw me enchantments fast anyways i'll sacrifice for scrolls although i only have four resources uh, maybe i'll drop top, top ticket four drop instead 
All right, I can act. I can actually. Uh, getting rid of that veteran was pretty big for him because this turn I would have been able to Ragged Wolf Earth Murph to take out his Iron Color Reaver. Instead, he's going to be uh, invincible for a turn. But that's not a huge deal. I'm going to be able to just play another Mystic. And next turn, I have a choice at like a Ragged Wolf Earth and Mirth or a Hasted 5 damage or a Veteran for Hasted 3 damage or a Rally to get some extra draw with my Mystics and have this Great Wolf attack. Alright. And we got... Okay, he goes to Resources. What are we going to see? He moves up, knowing that this guy is invincible. And plays a Clock Lair behind there. And an overdrive on that clock race. That thing's going to go off like pretty quickly. Um, I'm not going to be able to take it out. But by playing Rumble. Rumble, 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 Rumble. Can move this guy out of the way. But all he's protecting is a Boom Reaver who is not that important right now. I think I'm just going to Veteran. To get rid of the Hired Smuggler before it gets him more card draw. And I'm going to get rid of uh, the Rumble. Uh, Rumble might come in handy. What do I get rid of? First, I'm actually going to draw an enchantment. Because um, I don't mind going into 3 health for burn range because he has other options. He's going to be able to burn, like the veteran I put down or the brave. So I will draw an enchantment. Stag Heart. I will sacrifice that over the Earthen Mirth. Um, because you, oftentimes you want to stack up on Stag Hearts against energy. That's not the best idea because they might have an dispersal. So I'm going to get rid of this, and I guess I can, I don't know what I want to do here. I guess I want to move down with you. Okay. Yeah, I'm actually going to go like this. I'm going to waste, or should I just take out this idol? I'm going to protect this. And I'm going to move down with everybody. Might be a little strange I'm not destroying that idol. Instead, I'm just hitting this for no damage. But I want to I make sure this Great Wolf survives. I mean, he could have a bounce person. After that clock lever went off, he got a couple scrolls. Uh, so if this thing survives, I'm pretty sure an Earthen Mirth is going to be able to at least take out this Ironclad Reaver. So we'll see. He goes to resources. What are you going to see? Sudden Eruption might hurt me if it hits this Great Wolf and this Brave. Um, but that, that would mean some RNG for him. We'll see. We shall see. Worst case scenario right now, I hit like he goes like Power Trip into Sudden Eruption. Oculus Cannon. And we're going to see it. Overdrive on that. Bombard with that. If he has a Dust Runner Bombard, I wouldn't take out my Great Wolf. If he has his Oculus Cannon attack, all right, he has a Dust Runner Bombard, and that's going to be a pretty big play for him. Um, not going to quite destroy me, because he's not able to get rid of this Great Wolf, as I was saying. And that Great Wolf is going to be able to wreck some havoc right now. Just playing one Ragged Wolf is going to be able to get rid of this Ironclad Reaver. Just playing one of them. Uh... Playing two of them means one, two, and five. Not quite enough to get rid of this. I'm going to get rid of the... I might clear his board because he has bombards. I might just want to clear everything. So if I go double Ragged Wolf Earth and Mirth, it would clear everything besides this, of course. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to get rid of the Rumble for resources. I will go Ragged Wolf, Ragged Wolf, move you out of the way, and then Earth and Mirth. And then if he doesn't have a Vount Dispersal still or any way to take out that Great Wolf, I can follow up with follow up with a Rally and probably plow through this row. The only thing that could really hurt right now is a Vount Dispersal or... Big Bombard play could take out that Great Wolf. Or, yeah, there's Violent Spursal. So, it's a little tough. Um, I could actually... Interesting, he just put that there. I can actually just sacrifice my guy and get rid of his Dust Runner, which I'm considering doing. I mean, 
It's a one for one trade, and this this has only one health. I think I might do that. I'm gonna sacrifice Riley for Swirl, see what I get. Tearing Brute and Nog. Yeah, I'm actually gonna do that. I don't want to see anything. I'm going to let it die, let him get some extra idle damage, and I'm gonna move in. I'm a little afraid of like a sudden eruption, so I might play the Nog instead of the Brave. No, I'll play the Brave. So then I will go. I almost want to triple up there, but then I'm just walking into a Thunder Surge. I have to play the Brute first. What am I doing? That is important. I'm getting one extra counter arm reduction on that Brute. Unfortunately, did not draw many of my Wetland Rangers yet. Um, I want to get those out. Those are pretty good against Mono Energy Range. Yeah, so it looks like he is like a standard mono energy range deck, not really an uh, automaton deck that a lot of people have been playing lately. Cannonetta there, so it doesn't look like he's going with a big player, and that's it. So that's pretty good. Hopefully I get a veteran. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, how I'm spaced out, unfortunately, does not let me kill Oculus Scan. Let's see what I draw. If I get a... I don't know. Uh, is it possible for me to kill that Oculus Scan? Ragged Wolf, is that possible? I can veteran these two guys take out that now I can't get rid of the oculus cannon so I'm just going to get rid of the cannon with a veteran and not move my other guys into it so the oculus cannon does not attack unless he has a bombard or overdrive or something and should I play the veter I mean I c I'm running low on cards but I kind of want to just I kind of want to just keep it in my hand for sacrifice fodder uh yeah I'm gonna do that and I'm going to space out a little bit more for Thunder Surge. And I'm going to move this Terrain Brute into the middle. Uh, I wish I... I'd rather have this Veteran next to the Brave, but I can't really move it now. I'd rather him not get the extra 4 idle damage. So, yeah. That's going to be my turn. Yeah, I'd rather have this Terrain Brute in the middle so he can move up and kill this Oculus Cannon if he can. Alright. He goes for Scrolls. He is ahead of me in scrolls and resources. Um, his clock already took off, but he, he did play an overdrive on it to do so. So that was interesting. Storm Runner, where? There, is he gonna bombard? Okay. So he's able to take out three of my creatures, um, which is a good play for him, but I'm gonna be able to take out a Storm Runner or Zacchaeus Cannon with just my Terrain Brute. So that's pretty good for me. Hopefully I get some nice big drops, like a Wetland Ranger. And a Great Will is great also. Uh, an Ancestral Totem is nice. I'm gonna get, um, I'm just gonna take out the Storm Runner here. Much more of a threat than the Oculus Cannon. And I'll get out a Great Wolf. So... I'll go like this, and then I'll go like this, and I'm going to go into a little bit of a Thunder Surge formation, because I want to have this Ragged Wolf in the middle, so he can move up and hit this Oculus Cannon. Alright, so Thunder Surge Harpies, then I would put my, my Great Wolf into burn range. We'll see what he does. Hopefully we don't see another violent dispersal. Close match, very close match. He definitely changed the energy range so that it would be a nice counter, which it is kind of a good counter to aggro growth. But it's not amazing. All right, he plays armor guy there. I think I'm just gonna run away from that. <laughs> I don't have much of a chance there. And seeing as he's not full on automaton deck, he has humans like Tempest River, Storm Runner, Hired Smoke Girl, all that stuff, Canada. So I might just play the Fetrite Fangler, not too bad. Well, and Ranger's good. I'll get rid of the Ancestral Totem, although it's nice with like combo with Ragged Wolves and Veterans. Energy has like armored units that like even a Veteran with Ancestral Totem can take out. And Ancestral Totem is so weak against energy because so many ways it dies because it only has two health. So I'll get rid of that for Scrolls. And there's a Mangy Wolf. Um, I could Mangy Wolf and get rid of this Tempest Reaver, but then this thing attacks and I don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to run away here 
and play one of my nice strong creatures like Wetland Ranger or Fang Bear. And I'm going to elect to play um, the Wetland Ranger. It's time I start doing some more idle damage, I think. He'll get my creature some more. Attack. Mal Dispersal on the Great Wolf. And he might move down knowing that I don't really have anything that's really going to hurt him. Because there's just a Ragged Wolf there. So that was a big Mal Dispersal and he's going to be able to move down there. So that's going to delegate me to the corners of the board. Which is tough to play with. Um, now I'm going to get rid of... Uh, hmm. Now I'm going to get rid of the mangy wolf, I think. Four scrolls. Do I go Terran Brute and Earthborn Mystic, or do I go straight to Fang Bear and Nog? Let's go Terran Brute and Earthworm Mystic. This guy's going to get his attack off. I kind of don't want him to get an attack off yet, but whatever. And I'll just build up up here. Obviously play the Terrain Brute first. So his count is a little bit lower. And I'll move down so he can't get any free kills. But now our three middle lanes are open, which can go down in a hurry, especially with this Tempest River if he just wants to not do anything in his turn and just attack the idle. Also this Oculus Scan is going to be able to do a lot of idle damage. And he's a lot of scrolls and seven resources. So, I am worried. With a Crimson Bull in my hand and a Ragged Wolf, I am not far off from winning as well. Oculus Cannon there and a Bombard, probably. And his Us Runner is going to be able to take out that idol. So, that was a good turn for him. But he did not take out this middle idol yet, so I'm not. That wasn't like the worst possible thing. And now none of his stuff is attacking right now. Okay. So, a Ragged Wolf Crimson Bull, what does that do? Not a whole lot. I could take out, like, this Hired Smuggler. I have to get, uh... I have to be able to take out this Oculus Cannon. Let's get rid of... The Wellen Ranger. Stagger. Alright, we're just gonna have to build up up there. It's tough now where we are. I'm gonna have to play aggressively or else I'm just gonna lose. Um, I'm gonna play. I can't move around, as you know. I'll play the Nog here and the Ragged Wolf and the Striped Finger here. So he's, I think he's. Is that? Did he play three Bombards already? I, th I think he's definitely played two. I'm, and he may have sacked the other one. He might have it coming. So hopefully, if he has another Bombard, it could be really bad. He's. A, he has Overdrive in his deck. We saw him play one. So this thing will probably attack this turn, which sucks. I spaced my units in a way where just this thing attacking wouldn't actually kill anything but the Nog. But he could easily have something else to combine with it. He goes with the burn. Um, so that's a little annoying, but that's what you gotta expect against energy. This idol's only at one health, so Lucky Rumble could end up being a big factor if I'm able to take out like this idol down here. Copper Automaton, what are we gonna see? Like a Fury or something? Take out Metal Idol? I don't know what it's, I, I don't think so. We haven't seen if you, there's a storm runner, scary definitely. And now let's see, Kinfolk veteran. Um, this actually isn't too bad right now. This guy's going to attack this turn. I'm going to be able to get rid of this Tempest Reaver. Um, unfortunately, I'm gonna probably have to just. Actually, I can go Crimson Bull Stag Hurt on you. And I, I can actually clear this route, but then I'm staring at a Storm Runner in the face. But he doesn't have any bump. He might not have any Bombards in hand, especially since he didn't play one last turn. Um, so I'd rather. Maybe I would rather get rid of all this stuff. I think that's good. Let's do that. Instead of just playing a Storm Runner uh, veteran here to get rid of the Storm Runner. So. Let's, yeah, five, I can get you to five attack. So let's just go like this. Um, I should sacrifice, whatever. I know, I think, I don't think there's anything better I could do. I'm one, two, three, four, 
five, six. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the knocker scrolls. All right, and then a great will follow up. It's a nice play if I can't do veteran next turn. All right, and in case there's a thunder surge, should I move up? Sure, I'll move up. Um, because if he has thunder surge, it means less of a chance he's gonna play a bombard. Um, so I wouldn't really mind that. So now we'll see what he can do. It's annoying having to, not being able to move around here. He can't move the stormrunner into the back lane and stuff like that, though. So I've, I've really I've got enough footing on the board now, which is very nice. There is a burn on my nog, and let's see if he has like a spark to take out my fang bear, which would suck. But now it looks like I've taken the center of the board, though. He plays that, and he's just gonna hit this. All right. That means my fang bear is gonna be able to take out this storm runner, which is huge. Three Oculus Cannons because I don't have much movability. I'm gonna get rid of the. Um, at this point, I'm gonna get rid of the Wetland Ranger because I'm not gonna do much idle damage, idle hitting before I win. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Ancestral Totem. Uh, Ancestral Totem does that. Ancestral Totem followed up with a veteran next turn is huge. So I'll show them here, five attack, that goes to... I mean, I can't really move anyways. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna Great Wolf, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna Great Wolf. I shall Great Wolf, especially with all these wolves is nice. I'm gonna put the Great Wolf up here, and then I'm just gonna put a Vetter down here. Now I have more resources, I can make bigger plays. All right, so not too shabby there. Still facing down three Akosan, so as soon as he top decks another Bombard, a lot, of, a lot of my stuff goes away. Maybe, yeah, actually, maybe I should have moved these guys out of the out of the f range of fire of the Oculus Cannon. Whoops. All right, there's uh, the Oculus Cannon going off. Um, hopefully my Brute survives. It looks like it will, though. It's only going to take one damage from the Oculus Cannon. And he moves down like that. Ironclad Reaver there. Okay, so it's still looking good for me. Um, do I have lethal? Not quite. A veteran this turn is going to be able to take out both of these guys. I should probably just do that. Um, knowing the other stack cards destroyed, I'm going to get rid of this stack cart. Actually, maybe I'll just stack cart. Because I don't have another play this turn. Yeah, I'll get rid of the finger. Um, Mangy Wolf. Mangy Wolf. I need to veteran this turn to get rid of this stuff, though. So I'll veteran here. Gets rid of those, and I guess that's my turn. Next turn, um, we'll see what happens. He's up to eight resources. A little bit worried. My guys, my great wolf and bear are still standing right here. Oculus Stanton is staring them down in the face. Looking back, I probably should have put this great wolf in front of the bear because right now he could easily, he could definitely kill the bear if this attacks. At least if the Grave was in front. None of them are definitely dead. Okay, there is a Cannonetta. Machinated. And here's the Bombard. So, definitely a big play. Might not be enough for him at this point. Because my Grave is going to finally be able to attack. Okay. And Crimson Bull is perfect. Crimson Bull is perfect. If I Crimson Bull, I'm gonna be able to get rid of this. And with the Master Dude nerf, this guy is not gonna, this cannon is not gonna be able to attack again. Uh, I can move down and take out that idol. Do I have lethal? Let's get rid of this totem. Lethal, lethal, lethal. I don't think it's lethal. But I'm going to Crimson Bull take out this um, I'm going to actually take out the idol instead of protecting this top idol and I'll play a fang bear and I can make my great wolf and fang bear attack next turn with a rally I can go and I have a mangy wolf if I just want to make the make the great wolf attack and with the veteran on the board I can I'm actually set to rally with something else oh god I just noticed if he had like 
he had, he has Iron Whips in his deck, so he actually had Le No, he didn't. He has this idol up here at 8 health. The Oculus can only has 4 attack. Never mind, I got a little scared for a second. And he did burn the Great Wolf, which had 3 health because of the Oculus can hitting it on the second thing. And is this game a rally. A rally um, stag card? Is that game? 5. And then deals 2. That goes to 3. I'm 1 idol damage off. So, I think I'm still going to rally, though. Do I rally Mangy? A rally Mangy is what I'm going to do. Um, I'll get rid of the stack cart. I mean, I could sacrifice your scrolls, but I'm not guaranteed to get something I could play with the Mangy. Play, play with the rally, which I need to, to take out both of these creatures. So, I will keep the you in front and then okay there we go and I mean I am a little vulnerable to a possible oculus cannon bombard oculus cannon overdrive but he's already played like I mean he's deck dead recycle but I don't know I took I think I took these oculus cannons after the deck cycle so I don't think he has them and his iron smoke was not out there to help him. this guy is down to one attack because there's no humans on the board dust runner Hired Smuggler, Storm Runner. Yeah, it'd be scary if you had a Bombard that turn. Actually, would he be able to do a lot? I think so. All right, let's get a Rally, please. Or something to get, take out the Storm Runner, at least. Oh, right on cue. And that's going to be game. So, uh, yeah. That is going to be game. Eight, and then... GG WP. So I just two owed Zark. Um, so yeah, won both matches with my aggro growth deck um, against his late game growth deck and his range energy deck. And uh, that'll be it for today. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and keep on scrolling, scrollgers.